Well, to Manitowoc now, a woman who's battling breast cancer while also pregnant is speaking out in hopes of encouraging others to fight for their health. Crystal Zander was diagnosed with breast cancer six months into her pregnancy. Sharon Bagenda shares, shares her story of courage and strength. We got him here at what, about 14 weeks? Crystal Zander is 38 years old and eight months pregnant. For years, her and her husband, Tim Sari, tried for a baby and they weren't successful. Crystal says the moment she stopped trying, her wish came true. She called her husband right away. And you I walked knew. in the door and I said, you're pregnant. <laughs> I had a little card printed out with yeah. the baby's due date and everything, and I'm just, oh my God, it was wonderful. Yes. It was wonderful news. Two months before Crystal became pregnant, she felt a lump, but doctors told her it was just dense breast tissue. Didn't order any tests or anything like that and just said it's dense breast tissue, which runs in my family. So for me, I was just, just relieved. That sense of relief changed six months into her pregnancy when the lump started to get painful. Doctors sent something wasn't right during her ultrasound and two days later confirmed she had cancer. But I remember coming home and just breaking down. Yeah. We had this wonderful news to begin with and all of a sudden we have the terrible news that we have to deal with and I had trying to figure out how we're going to how we're going to take care of the baby and I have to figure out how to take care of her with the the um, all the procedures, treatments and appointments. Even with the bad news, Crystal has found a silver lining. This Thanksgiving, she's thankful for her miracle baby, Quentin. Baby Quentin is healthy as can be. He's due on Christmas Eve. I am really, really, really thankful for him. Um, I, I do wish that we had caught the cancer earlier, but the thing is, if, if we had and we had to do chemo, I wouldn't have been able to get pregnant. Like every time I see the ultrasounds, it's like, I can't believe it. it's real, it's happening. And then we get closer and closer and closer. And then we have this little guy here. He's gonna be a little sloth. Quinton will be delivered through a C-section. During that time, Crystal will also undergo a mastectomy and have her ovaries removed to better manage the cancer. It's also hormone fed, so I have a triple positive, so we have to get it at all angles. She hopes her story is a wake-up call. Just keep fighting. You need to advocate for your own health. Rock and pink for mom. <laughs> For now, Crystal is receiving chemotherapy safe for pregnancy, but won't know if the cancer is terminal until after the baby is born. And being pregnant, they can't do any scans to tell you how far along the cancer is, how far it's spread. If it's terminal, you just have to wait till the baby comes. He's got mom's nose. Crystal says some days are harder than others, but baby Quentin is the fuel she needs to keep going. Whenever she's feeling down, she goes to his nursery and remembers the reason why she has to keep fighting. I'm going to fight so hard. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to be a mom to this little guy. He is so wanted and so loved, and I am thankful for that. In Manitowoc, Sharon Bagenda, CBS 58 News. So strong and so positive. Crystal has undergone three chemotherapy treatments so far, and she tells us the tumor is getting smaller. To learn more about how you can help the family, just head to our website, cbs58.com.